Um, the next thing we want to talk about, and this is often overlooked, is um, the ease of cleaning. If you find a coalescer that's easy to clean, you're in good shape. And one thing you can do to kind of feel out, well, will it be easy to clean? Uh, will the solids process out? Imagine having a nice, clean, brand new coalescer in front of you. Imagine the one you're either using or the one you're planning to buy. And, and imagine having a big, two-fisted handful of like a, a, a coarse sand. Throw that into the coalescer, you know, in the entry area or throw it in uh, on the top. What's going to happen to that sand if, you know, 20 or 25 percent of that sand doesn't find its way falling out of the coalescer? That's a problem. So as you're comparing, contrasting, considering various designs for your next application or for upgrading what you have, I'll tell you, that's a good one. If you were to put sand in there, is the sand going, are the sand particles going to find their way out? If they are, you got a good design. If they're not, you have a problem. Ease of cleaning. If you are able to clean the pack all the way through, you've got a good design. If you can't, I think you're in a little trouble. Here's a picture of a guy in the entry area of the coalescer. The maintenance guy is cleaning up, and the next slide shows what a cross-flow, flat plate, short width design with chimney zones does. He is a, a five-foot distance here, and there's still velocity coming through there. We can clean from this part of the separator, from this part. We can clean from this part of the coalescer. We can clean from the back of the coalescer. All these areas to clean. Not only that, but as the water comes in, it flushes down, hits the chimney zone, and out. Kind of a, a, an interesting thing. Now, if you can't clean your coalescer completely, what happens is the inside doesn't get cleaned out. You saw some photos from before. So the moment you put it back in for work, you have already have a re reduced performance. And there's immediate reduction in performance and the ability to pull out oils. Not only that, but you, uh, you're handicapping yourself on how long you can extend your cleaning. All right, moving on, um, we build the stainless steel packs. A nice stainless steel pack, they, um, they have a, a, a smooth, flat, hard plate that stays good for years. That's important for moving and, and processing solids as opposed to some uh, plates that will sag or corrode or things like that. I love the stainless steel feature. We use these in the oil and gas, the electric utility, the petrochemical. These are the things that are going to last for years and years, not needing the replacement. 